12 speakers, five minutes. In the US, they say only five slides. We're a little bit more generous. Um, but each speaker basically gets five minutes to tell their story as it relates to the theme of the evening. Um, so you, you, you probably have a list of speakers. You may pick them up on your way in. If not, I will actually show you a slide of speakers. There you go. That's our lineup for tonight. So the way it works is every speaker gets five minutes, and we're pretty strict on the five minutes. So our timekeeper Donovan, who has already said he's open to bribes, but we'll keep an eye on him, will ring the bell at four minutes, and he'll ring it again at five. If we can keep it to five, that'd be great, because obviously that way we get you all back out into the foyer, networking, talking, and having and enjoying a drink. So after the after the speeches, you'll actually be enjoying some local wines that are being hosted and sponsored by P the Pialigo Estate tonight, which is great. So why did we pick The 100 Year Life? So Candice came across a book called The 100 Year Life by Linda Grattan and Andrew Scott. And this one paragraph got us thinking about the whole topic. It says that many of us have been raised on the traditional notion of a three-stage approach to our working lives. Education, followed by work, and then retirement but this well-established pathway is already beginning to collapse. Life expectancy is rising, final salary pensions are vanishing, and increasing numbers of people are juggling multiple careers. Whether you are 18, 45, or 60, you will need to do things very differently from previous generations and learn to structure your life in completely new ways. So the 12 presentations that we have tonight are really the tip of the iceberg. This is a, this is a huge topic, and as always, a topic is going to be discussed for many, many years to come. Um, but really, we're just providing an opportunity to have another conversation about this particular theme. So on that note, I'm going to stop talking, and I'm going to welcome Pat.